During the early Permian, a group of arthropods evolved named the trilobites. The trilobites would exist on Earth for about 270 million years, the last dying out at the end of the Paleozoic. For much of the Paleozoic, they were the most uh, diverse organisms on the planet, and certainly the most diverse uh, arthropods. There are approximately 17,000 uh, species which have been named. They were certainly the most diverse organisms of uh, the Cambrian and were very common in the Ordovician period as well. At the end of the Ordovician, a number died out in a mass extinction, and many more died out at the mass extinction at the end of the Devonian period, so that only one group survived from the end of the Devonian uh, through the end of the Permian when they finally disappeared from Earth. Uh, given the large number of species, it is not surprising that they diversified into a number of ecological niches. Uh, some appear to have been filter feeders, others fed on debris on uh, the ocean floor, uh, others were predators. Uh, many, uh, especially when they were young, uh, possessed spines and may have floated in the plankton and been more free-floating uh, in that sense. Uh, what is often preserved in the fossils is the hard exoskeleton, which is made of a number of uh, segments. Underneath the uh, exoskeleton uh, existed uh, the legs uh, and antennae and other soft uh, body parts. Many fossils are not fossils of dead organisms, but rather of uh, moltings of the exoskeleton. And apparently the exoskeleton uh, was shed in pieces, which is why many fossils of trilobites are not complete. Their compound eyes were composed of a series of lenses. Some had a small number of lenses, less than 70, and, and some subsequently lost their eyes. Uh, others had hundreds of lenses composing each eye. Others could have more than 15,000 uh, lenses uh, composing each eye. Some approached a meter in length, although not quite, uh, while others measured only a few millimeters. While many uh, were composed of distinct segments, in uh, some groups the segments fused, uh, to produce uh, featureless uh, exoskeletons. Their legs could possess uh, gill-like uh, structures known as epipodites and uh, hairs for sensation, and the antennae seem to be uh, typically present. The earliest groups of trilobites from the early Cambrian uh, underwent an extinction event in the Middle Cambrian, and the surviving groups possessed a thicker exoskeleton. Perhaps this was a sign of predation as an important factor in survival. In many groups, evolutionary trends can be seen throughout the history of the group. In some, eyes were gradually reduced to the point where they were lost. In others, such as this group here, the eyes fused uh, across the head to form one single eye. 